hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and in today's video we are going to be looking at how to ensure that you have your intelligence functioning properly using OmniSharp in vs code so in my detail you can see that i have my doc class created and i want to make use of this class in my logic 2 assembly so to do that i would have to add my i have to add logic 1 reference in logic 2 so let me get to my terminal and do that cd logic 2 next dot net add reference logic 1 logic 1 dot cs approach and here you can see that it has been added next to make it of logic 1 assembly in logic 2 i would have to add its namespace so using logic logic 1 let me just make this capital okay so let me create a dog a dog object so dog bruno cost new now let me initialize some of these properties so i'll call it bruno and h equals seven next if i click on bruno if i write bruno dot you can see that my intelligence can't infer the properties of bruno and this is because i've not actually set this project this assembly right to be detected in omnishop so to make so to make this project be detected in OmniSharp, I have to go down below here. Okay, wait, let me correct this error first. Yeah. So I'll go down below here and beside this OmniSharp icon, I can see that logic one or CS board is the current project, the current assembly that is active. So to make logic two CS project active, I'll have to click here and click on logic two. Then I'll wait a little bit for its packages to be downloaded and for logic to CS project to become activated. This will take some time. So now the logic 2.cs project has been activated. So we can try to infer the properties now. Dots. And you can see that my intelligence is telling me that I have the age property, I have the back method, and I have the name property. So let me try and console this out. So console the right line. Oh, I don't have my system namespace. Using system. So console dot right line bruno dot h so let me run this cd logic to dot net run um, yeah so yeah seven so Bruno's age is seven. So that is how you can ensure that you have an intelligence working using OmniSharp in VS Code. There might be an error along the way of activating this. So what you have to do is to just press, click on Control Shift P to bring out this command palette. Then you can type restart OmniSharp. OmniSharp. Sometimes in severe conditions, you will need to reactivate you need to restart your vs code again so that is it for today thanks guys and hope you liked the video please do leave a like share and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you bye